Hey everyone, well today you're going to be treated with a nice video. So today's video we're going to be mating uh, the Acanthoscuria thoraphosphodes, formerly known as Brocklehursti, which is the giant white banded. So I have Greg's mature male over here and Sasha, my 7 inch female, inside her uh, cave. So this will be the second mating attempt that I've done. I know I've done one way back in August. I've just been very busy with uh, school and stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this uh, mature male out of his cage and put it into the female's cage. So right now it's 11.58 p.m. and we're going to document to see how long uh, the mating process will last. Okay, so 12.02, I didn't actually do anything, the female just literally came right out of her cave. Now, I'm just going to take it off macro, and we'll see what happens. Now, she came out really fast, so I'm kind of worried about the male, and it's also a good idea to have something blocking uh, their presence just in case the inevitable happens. Okay, so here's the male and here's my female. She's huge. Uh, she's approximately six and a half to seven inches, freshly molted uh, just way before the first attempt. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm getting a little cold. Can't be good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is a good sign. Okay, so now she's receptive. And this is honestly how you tell if your female is uh, mature. I know I get a lot of people that ask me sorry, about this. And the way to tell if your female is mature, I usually go by uh, their size. Usually when they're about an inch and a half, maybe away from full size. Um, you want to try to pair up the male and female and if she's drumming away towards the male then you know for a fact that uh, she's mature and she's willing to mate yeah so this is a very good sign okay and the male is coming okay very good very good and I usually mate them you know, after dark, that is when tarantulas are the most active. After all, they are nocturnal. So, that's ah, a really good idea that I'm doing this in HD. Because a lot of people like to see a nice tease in high def. Okay. Alrighty. So he's coming, it's 12.04. Oh, okay. Let this uh, meeting commence. I gotta turn the Barry White music on. <laughs> Let's get it on. I might just fed her like a couple of superworms just before. Anyway, I'll. Um, Okay, this is pretty interesting. Okay, 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 good. So this may be the unedited version. Yeah, I tried to make all my mating attempt videos as uh, detailed as I can instead of like doing only two minute videos that you see on YouTube. And I know I tried to explain everything in depth because a lot of people ask me how to make tarantulas and just basically that's what you do and make sure that the female is freshly molted um, make sure she's well fed make sure your male's freshly molted and he's done his sperm webs or the fact he's just pacing around the tank that means that you know that uh, he's ready for a um, a mate and then just do like I did put the male inside the female's tank and just wait and see her mood 
and if she's doing what she's doing on camera, shaking her legs, like you see over here, then you know that you might have a good pairing. And I can't believe I did this without macro. Okay. Alright, so you can see. If there's an event where the male might get attacked, I'm gonna drop the camera. But Sasha's a pretty good female, so I don't think I'm too worried. She's got a f nice plump size abdomen. So that's a good sign. So at this point, you don't wanna to touch the male or the female because you might upset them. Right now they're in the mood so I'm just going to let nature take its course. Now, okay. so close to her. Now this is the part where I feel nervous and you know you have every right to be because you're risking the male's life every time you try to meet with your tea. this way. Okay, so now what he's trying to do is that he's trying to lift the female upwards so he can get access to her uh, spermatheci. Uh, spermatheci, I showed you in many of my videos where uh, that is located. That's the near the epigastric furrow underneath the abdomen. Okay, so now he's trying to get under this uh, big behemoth of a tarantula. if I can get a sack from this one.
Okay, so I'll let you know when he's doing his first insertion. He's probably going to be doing this for at least a while now. Right now it's uh, 12, 11 a.m. Uh, Bob was pedipalps and his tibial hooks on his first pair of legs so the way he's going to mount the female is that uh, he's going to lift her up uh, those hooks are going to attach uh, to her fangs and once he's found the good position and it's firmly in place he's going to start to inject his sperm which is located inside his palp now, you may not see an insertion. Huh, simply because uh, she's, she's in her cave. Uh, it's doing the same thing that he did the last mating attempt. Females there and males here. Alright, so now it's going to be round two. Sorry, sorry for the uh, glare. She kind of wet up her enclosure, so you can't really see that much. But you can see she's over there. So he's pretty much going to do the same thing as he did before. Okay, so I really don't have much battery life left in my camera, even though it just <clears throat> had a charge for at least a couple of days now. So, pretty much it's a waiting game. <clears throat> Normally, these take, in general, anywhere between 15 minutes to about an hour and a half, maybe even longer, depending on how good your mail is. <laughs> like this guy's right here, <laughs> he's chicken. Well, I guess I can relate because the female is a much bigger uh, than him. Normally with most terrestrial species except for uh, the GBB and uh, the Pocolothera species, the Pokies, uh, you want to do this w while you're there supervised. I don't <clears throat> suggest using well, uh, it's mating them overnight and just leaving them there because uh, you might risk your male uh, getting eaten. Like, for example, the GBB and the Pokies. <clears throat> okay. So, 20 minutes in, and he's lifting her up for, uh, I believe it's the third time. The second time, he just lifted her up and then backed away. It's kind of like he's scared of her. But I guess uh, he has every right and reason to be scared because uh, she's so much bigger than him. Now, with uh, most <clears throat> teas, like the species I'm mating right now, Acanthoscuria, Brocklehursti, or now Therophalocides, the giant white banded, uh, you want to mate them under su close supervision uh, simply because the female might try to kill the male after uh, she's done with them. Now, for species like the green bottle blue and the pokies, like all your Indian ornamental, uh, fringed ornamental, and all those um, 
lovely species. You want to mate them overnight. Now, <clears throat> simply because these tarantulas have an incredibly long mating ritual and they take hours and hours to mate. Uh, when I mated uh, Zelda and Eric's uh, past male Link that I called him, uh, basically I left them overnight together and uh, he survived and lo and behold like I got a sack uh, a couple months later. So yeah that's pretty much what he's doing. Uh, can't really get you a close-up of the insertion. I don't know if he is doing one. Probably not. I'm not going to open up the cage to find out. <laughs> so. And he's just tapping away. Like a good boy, but hopefully he's going to do an insertion. He just has to get a good position. Alright, 1224. And... Maybe he wants out. He is shaking. Got the moose like Mick Jagger. Hmm. Now, you really don't want to handle these species because uh, they have super defensive temperaments and they can be mean when they want to be. And this is pretty much how I. Remove males from their enclosure. I'm going to try one more time. Okay, so I think the male wants out. <laughs> Yeah, she just came towards him, and I guess this is a time where he'll live another day and tell about it. And I don't like the female charging at him like that. I don't think I caught it on film, but anyway, time to get Mr. out of there. Okay, he's pretty quick. So I don't know. <clears throat> I guess it was a really successful mating attempt. I don't know if I got any insertions or not, but anywho, I'm just showing you that the male is alive and well, and that's basically how I transfer him back. And I'm going to be putting water right after the video. Here we go. Alrighty. So, again, the uh, next mating attempt I'll probably do it like a week and a half to two weeks later. And I just want to give you an idea of what Sasha looks like. My big female. She's more out in the open. Mm. I'm not sure if you actually see. She is <clears throat> starting to get uh, rather plump. I have been feeding her quite heavily with superworms. But other than that, she looks uh, pretty healthy. Nice size female, around uh, six and a half to seven inches. All right, good stuff. So I'll uh, charge up my HD camera and then the next video that you are going to see um, on tarantulas is the feeding video 119 uh, with all the teas especially the new ones that I'll be picking up on Thursday and you'll see uh, tarantula misbethyser video 50 that I promised that I was going to do ages ago on the 
Sicarius Tarosus, the six-eyed sand spider. All right, everyone. So hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. And it's twelve twenty-nine, so about half an hour. All right. See you.